Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Royal Caribbean experts, and today I'm on board the beautiful Ovation of the Seas. Now this incredible vessel has something for everyone. An amazing pool deck, the North Star crane arm that's unlike anything else in the entire industry. Indoor skydiving, the massive indoor C-Plex, so many fantastic dining and bar options, in addition to the amazing entertainment. Now, when you're ready to book your next cruise on Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, or Silver Sea, make sure you do it right on hardtravel.com. You can take advantage of those interactive deck plans and pick the perfect room or suite for you, your friends, family, or group. Now, we're gonna show you this entire incredible vessel here today. We also have the rooms and suites for you to check out. But we started up right up here on top of the pool deck. So behind me, as I mentioned, you've got the incredible North Star. We'll get there in just a minute. You've got the main pool here in the middle. What I really appreciate about it is it's got a shallow entrance around the side so you can sit, put your feet in the water, sit back and relax. You've got the bar right there in the middle, a couple hot tubs on either side, a large screen LED TV where you can watch all kinds of first run movies. They play things throughout the day as well. Now from up here, you can also see the kids area. So this is dedicated specifically to families. You've got a baby splash pad for the smallest ones. And then you have Splash Away Bay. So there's several different water slide options. You've got the water dumping down from the top. You also have a really incredible lazy river. But what I love so much about this ship is it's perfect for so many different people, whether it's a couple traveling together, a group of friends, a multi-generational family. This ship really has it all and I can't wait to share it with you. So just behind me, you're gonna see the North Star. So it actually goes on a giant crane R straight up in the air. It's an air-conditioned capsule. So you can use it wherever you are in the world to take in some of the most incredible sights from a perspective and an angle that you never see on a cruise ship. So it is a complimentary feature. They do have some upgraded excursion options as well that you can do with it. Now you've got the elevator and stairs taking you up right there. Now before or after your trip on the North Star, you may wanna check out the North Star Bar. It's a full service bar where you can sit, maybe have some hot chocolate with a little bit of spice in it, if you will. Or of course, wherever you are in the world, you can take advantage of that fantastic bar. Just in front of it, you have some exclusive seating areas as well, where you can sit on the chaise loungers overlooking the main pool area. It's a really nice and comfortable area, and heck, the bar's just behind you. So as we head to the aft of the ship, we're gonna find a couple of my panda friends. Now, every single Quantum Class ship has a sculpture right here. It's a really cool touch. The only problem was they kept eating all the bamboo on board, so eh, anyway. I guess a bit bamboozled, if you will. Let's continue further back so you can see the C-Plex behind me. We'll go in there in just a minute. Next up is the rock climbing wall. So it's one of those signatures of Royal, has been for quite some time. You see the massive rock wall there. The whole goal is to get to the very top and ring the bell. So you can take the different courses depending on the challenge that you're looking for. Maybe a little easier or you can go all in and it's a little more inverted. So there you go, give it a shot. On the aft of the ship, you're gonna find two incredible activities. So up behind me, you're gonna find Ripcord by iFly. This is an indoor skydiving experience. I mean, how cool is that to skydive on the top of a cruise ship? It's one of those complimentary options here on board. They do have some times when it does cost, but make sure you check that out once you get here. Now, what I love about it is you can actually start with kiddos as young as three. My daughter's really looking forward to skydiving when we get back on board here. Additionally, you're also going to have the Flow Rider. Now, the Flow Rider first debuted on the Freedom of the Seas with Royal Caribbean. It's been such a big hit. It's on every one of their newer ships, and they're adding it to the other ships as well. It's a complimentary experience where you can go surfing or you can go boogie boarding. You can learn how to surf. You also can even rent it out. There's some opportunities for that as well. But it's just a great active, active option here on board the Ovation of the Seas. Now the iFly is just behind me. If you wanna see more in depth what it's all about, you wanna see some really cool demonstrations, we have a full video of it on the channel as well. Now keep in mind for any of these sports activities, before you start, you're gonna to need to sign the waiver. So if you're traveling with kids, make sure that you come down with them to complete that. And of course, if you're traveling as an adult, you just head on in, you sign that and go ahead and take care of it. So that's gonna be once again for the rock climbing wall, for the iFly and also for the flow rider. Now we're at the very aft of the ship. I just wanted to point out this is a stairway that goes down to the back part of the Windjammer, the outdoor terrace area. You can see once again, Ripcord by iFly and the Flow Rider behind me. But I wanted to point out that the track is gonna continue all the way around. So it is a massive track here on board. It goes all the way to the front of the ship 
as well. You also have some great seating areas back here. I love the aft or the wake view. It's my favorite place to be on a cruise ship. So I love that you can sit up here, take in those incredible views as you sail through Alaska, Australia, New Zealand, wherever it is in the world that you're experiencing. Now it wraps completely around. You're gonna have more seating, you got chairs and loungers all the way down around the other side until you head on in to the Cplex. Just inside the Cplex in the aft area, you're gonna find the Cplex dog house. So it's all about hot dogs and sausages. You got bratwurst, chicken and apple sausage, kibasa, the classic dog, and then of course, all your favorite toppings, sauerkraut, onions, things along those lines. So this is another one of those fast, casual, complimentary options. Over here, you can see you have all of the condiments, the drink station as well, and there's seating areas all the way in the back corner here. Now let's explore more of the Cplex. So the Cplex is a multi-function space. They do all kinds of activities in here, but one of the first of the kind that was so cool that they added is bumper cars. So you can see they have the bumper cars here. They actually have them up above there as well. So they're gonna let those out into the Cplex and you can have an absolute blast. Now every Royal ship has some sort of sport court. They've taken it to the next level here on board the Quantum class. So what I love about it is it's indoor, it is air conditioned and heated, depending on where you are in the world. You can use it for all kinds of sports. They're gonna have basketball tournaments, dodgeball, pickleball, you name it. If it's a sport, they're gonna do it right here. In fact, they have the soccer goals as well. You get some pretty fantastic games going on. Now, in addition to that, it's also used for entertainment. So they can do different kinds of discos and DJ experiences. In fact, you got the DJ booth and sound booth up there in the corner. And then we'll head upstairs just to show you a little bit more about the Cplex. Now set up above the Cplex, there's four alcove areas that stick out. They have incredible views, especially if you're in some of the scenic areas, and each one has a different use. So you've got an arcade on one side, you're gonna have ping pong tables over there. And right now I'm inside the Xbox lounge. So this is a complimentary area. You see you have this huge couch right here, massive large screen TV where they've got an Xbox One over there. And on the other side, you have four more Xboxes, once again, with the video rockers. And you also have the lounge style seating here in the middle. Now, all the way around the top, there's also some seating areas. So you can sit up here and watch the games down below. So I mentioned you can play all kinds of different sports here. My all time favorite is of course, basketball. My dad's a basketball coach for 40 years. My brother and I both played with him. We always had to do our hundred free throws wherever we were. So let's see if we still got it. Ah, shooter's touch. Dad would be proud. All right, let's check on that bank. Let's see. Hey, look at that. The bank's open today. All right, ready to keep filming? Why not? So now we're going to check out the pool deck. I got my good friend Crush just behind me. What's up, bro? Actually, I don't know that that's Crush, but it does look like a pretty cool turtle. So just the first thing that we're going to encounter is Splash Away Bay. So right here, you're gonna have a lazy river. Now it's a small kiddo size lazy river. So you can see it goes all the way around here. They always have lifeguards on duty, but keep in mind, it's always the parent's responsibility to keep an eye on the kids. Now you've got the rest of Splash Away Bay just behind me, a couple different water slide options. You got a splash pad, lots of places for the tiniest of kids and the younger kids to play and have an amazing time. Now, as we continue along through the space, you're gonna have the DJ booth right here to my side. So they're gonna do live bands, they'll do mu music. They basically turn the deck into a party throughout the day. Now let's head up further into the main part of the pool area. So once again, you can see the bandstand right here. It's just opposite of the large screen TV. You got the DJ Jerome mixing some crazy, crazy awesomeness over there. Thank you so much for your work. Now, because you're on the pool deck, you're gonna have seating all the way around the side. So you've got the big floor to ceiling glass on either side there so you can see out, a really beautiful view. And then right here in the middle is the main pool. So you've got a really large pool. In the morning and the evenings, you can swim laps in here. It's perfect size for that. You also have the seating area around the side where you can sit and dip your toes in the water. Now there's seating around here and then it's elevated just above. Once again, there's seating up top as well too that's just next to the track. And then you have seating areas all the way around the side. So they're gonna have chairs, loungers, different places. Now, where you're probably gonna find me the most often is these two places. So first off are the massive hot tubs. So there's two giant hot tubs here on the main deck and right in the middle is the sky bar. So this is the pool bar. To me, it's always the heart and soul of that pool deck experience. They're gonna make you some incredible drinks. They're gonna keep you smiling and laughing throughout your time here because these are the absolute best bartenders in the entire industry. 
They're so happy to be back, just like we all are. Once again, they're gonna keep you incredibly happy on your Alaskan, Australian, Trans-Pacific vacation, wherever it is that you choose to go. The pools, the bars, the entertainment, the dining, that's all awesome. But there's only one place where I really belong, and it's right here at Sprinkles Ice Cream. Yeah, we will have two once again. Yeah, let's do a chocolate and a vanilla. So this is a complimentary option here on board. It's one of the most popular stops because, I mean, who doesn't love soft serve ice cream? If you're one of those, just don't tell me because I, I don't know. Maybe we can be friends, but I'll have to find a way around it. But once again, you're gonna have it throughout the ship. There's several different locations here. It is something that's no additional cost. And instead of getting the traditional swirl, I make my own swirl. Double the trouble. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now another one of those fantastic suite level amenities is the suite sun deck. So this is for all of those who are in a full suite, a grand suite or higher, or pinnacle members. But this is an outdoor space dedicated just to them. Now, especially up here in Alaska, you get some incredible views from this area. So it's a really nice touch. As we head in, you can see there's a variety of seating options. So you have some loungers and other chairs that face out the side of the ship. And then right here, you're overlooking the main pool area. So it's the opposite of the North Star, just for point of reference. So you've got chairs set up all along here to take advantage of the views, do a little people watching. You've got a chaise lounger, a day bed, and several others up here as well. Primarily, this is that space to give that unique access, also to open it up and uh, have something that's really special for those who are in the highest level of rooms. So as we continue around, it wraps all the way around the other side as well. And just for point of reference, we're on the same level as the top part of the C-Plex. So now we're just inside the first of two solariums. And what I love about this ship is it's designed for every different type of climate zone. So you have a beautiful roof up above, it does open up, and also the windows come down on the side as well up top there. And right in the middle, you're gonna have your swimming pool. Now this is open to all ages. In fact, you have a kiddo's pool just behind there. You've got two large hot tubs as well, and you have a ton of seating in here. So you're gonna have the loungers up here on the top area, and you have more seating and loungers all the way around the sides where you can look out and take advantage of that incredible view. Now keep in mind, not every cruise line dedicates this amount of space to the public space, and I really love that Royal Caribbean has doubled down on that. You've got the main pool area, of course all the sports activities on the back side. You're gonna have the area here, and then we'll take you into the adults only solarium in a minute. Now right in the middle, you're gonna have the pool bar. So you've got phenomenal bartenders here. Look at that, Captain Morgan, they know coach is on his way. I absolutely love that. They're gonna provide service up here so you can sit and have a drink or anywhere around. It's a massive indoor space. Once again, climate controlled, so wherever it is that you're traveling, this is a perfect spot to stay. Now, Royal Caribbean has a second large solarium. This is an adult only area, so it's S16 and up. Now, as soon as I head through here, this is a vaccinated only area, so I can go ahead and take that off. Now, you're gonna have a ton of seating in here wrapped all the way around. It's basically a giant horseshoe. So as soon as we get in, you're gonna have loungers along the wall, day beds as well, looking out and taking advantage of those incredible views. You've got more loungers here. You also have some more day beds just behind. Now, before we head further into the solarium, I wanted to take you into the solarium bistro. And what I love about this particular space is it does turn into a specialty restaurant in the evening, but for breakfast and lunch, oftentimes it's the best buffet option. And also on boarding day, it's seldom used, but always available. So now we're inside this beautiful space. As I mentioned, buffet for breakfast and lunch. So you've got a large buffet set up over there. They're just getting ready to turn it over for the next meal. Right over here, you have another large buffet area as well. So I love coming up here, especially for breakfast. They serve basically the exact same things as the Windjammer, but this is usually a little underutilized. You're also gonna have a full beverage station in the back. You also have that wine cooler just behind me, because as I mentioned, this turns into a delicious specialty restaurant in the evening. So a really dynamic space set right here in the middle of the solarium. So now we're in the main part of the solarium. You can see the beautiful glass roof up above. It is climate controlled as well. So this is that area where adults can go and get away from the kiddos. I have a small one myself. When she's at Adventure Ocean, my wife and I love to come up and hang out here. So you've got lounge chairs all the way around. They wrap all the way around the side. You also have some down in the front as well. You're gonna have some day beds. They also have different lights and sound because they use this for events in the evening as well too. In fact, I had a cocktail party here on one of my last cruises. So set down below, you're gonna find hot tubs. So there's two hot tubs on this side, two on the other side. They have a couple showers with the rainforest shower heads. 
And then what I wanted to point out is right in the middle, they have this really beautiful tiered pool. So it's got the see-through glass that water falls down each and every story. And then at the very bottom, you actually have loungers that are in the water itself. So a beautiful pool here. And just behind it, you're gonna find the Sunshine Bar. Phenomenal bartenders, once again, mixing it, pouring it throughout the day. They're gonna keep you smiling, happy, and uh, well, they're gonna keep the drinks flowing. Now down on the bottle level, I also wanted to point out that they're seating all the way around the front. Some of the most beautiful places to be when you're going through any of the scenic cruising, the fjords, or if you're going through Alaska as well. Now I mentioned before, you've got the incredible glass ceiling, uh, 270 degrees, it wraps all the way around. And in a way, it perfectly complements the incredible 270 venue that's inside down below. We'll get there in just a bit. This is the adults only solarium that you're sure to love here on board the Ovation. So now we're just inside the Windjammer Cafe. This is the casual dining option here on board. Now at the very front, you're gonna have the coffee shop right here. They'll also do fresh squeezed juices for you in the morning. So this is an additional cost, but if you want your latte or cappuccino, you can get that here. They also have some upgraded ice cream and gelato options right there as well. But what I love particularly about this ship and the way they've designed them is you have the bakery right here in the front. So you're gonna have all kinds of fresh baked breads. They're also gonna have fresh cookies. There's always some cookies out there for you to taste when you come in. What I love is as soon as you walk in, you get that intoxicating smell and you're ready to dine and have a great meal. Now let's head into the main part of the restaurant. As I mentioned, it is at its heart a buffet. Now they've set up quite a few different stations here now, a little bit different than what they had before. So right here, you're gonna have salads and sandwiches. Now it's boarding day today, so they're gonna have a little later lunch than you normally would. And my secret on boarding day is also check out the Solarium Bistro or head all the way to the back here because there's always extra seating. So you've got your salad bars here where they can make your salads to order or you can grab one that's already mixed. Over here, you're gonna have sandwiches and paninis. So the sandwiches and the paninis are gonna be made to order for you. You've got the fruit station and soups over on the far side there. And then continuing back, you're gonna find more of the entree. So they have international cuisine here. You're gonna have some Indian. They do an incredible job with Indian food. You've got Mexican food over there and a wide variety of Asian options as well. So you're gonna have the beef over there and then all along the back here, you're gonna have even more options. So you've got, looks like quesadillas happening. You've got a full Mexican station, different salads and fruits over to the side. And then continuing along over to the other side, you're gonna have more. This is the vegetable patch. So they usually have some great vegetarian dishes. And then over here, they're doing made to order nachos and quesadillas. And then continue along the side, you're gonna find those Americana classics. So you've got some fruit here. You're gonna have salads over here to made to order. And then you're gonna have hot dogs, hamburgers, steaks, just like that. They're gonna throw them on the grill for you, for you to try. Now you've got another fruit station here, but I'm gonna take you to my all-time favorite happy place. That's the dessert station. So right here, you have a wide variety of desserts that you can have throughout your stay here. So you've got like cherry tart, chocolate bar, blueberry cheesecake, coconut cream puff. We have to leave, no? Right. The tres leches cake was especially delicious here today. You can see that right there. A wide variety of options, churros and chocolate. They're gonna mix it up throughout your stay, but if you have a sweet tooth, it's sure to be satisfied right here. Now I wanted to point out one of the beverage stations here. So they're gonna have the Nestle Vitality water in the morning, you'll have orange juice, different kinds of things like that. And then later on the day, you'll get that infused water. So in addition to that, they always have lemonade and iced tea. You're gonna have a selection of hot teas and hot chocolate, my daughter's favorite there. You've got coffees and hot water. Now these are all complimentary options. I wanted to point out the Coca-Cola machines. Now through their partnership with Coke, they have these installed throughout. So if you get one of the tumblers, if you have a refreshment or beverage package, you'll get one of those tumblers. You set it right there, it reads the RFID chip, and you can select the exact drink that you'd like. What I love about this is to me, vacation's all about getting exactly what you want when you want. So if you wanna mix Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, and you want it to be lime flavored, you can do that, why not? Now I mentioned earlier that I always head to the back. There's an entire another station back here that a lot of people don't even know about. So I, today I showed you lunch. Of course they have breakfast in here. They're gonna have egg stations. They usually have one back here as well. So you can come back here and Taylor's favorite is to come back for the pasta station. So they'll do made to order pastas. Seating wise, you have a wide variety. You've got some high top tables for two, four, even 10 like this one right here. You're also gonna have more around the side. So on the sides, you're gonna have seating. Once again, it's like a giant horseshoe wrapping all the way around. But what I love specifically about this is the outdoor terrace. Let me take you out. 
So now we're just outside looking out the aft of the ship. It's a perfect place to grab your food from Windjammer and then head directly out. You've got tables all the way along the back here. You have another row of tables as well. But what I love about this space is it's great to dine, but it's also great to grab a cup of coffee, a hot chocolate, or if you're cruising through any of the scenic areas, you can come right out here and take advantage of these incredible views. Now, my favorite rooms and suites are in the aft of the ship. We've got those on the channel as well for you to check out. But if you're not in one of those and you wanna enjoy the incredible views, you can pull up a chair right here and check out the world. So just in front of the Windjammer on the port side, you're gonna find Coastal Kitchen. This is the breakfast, lunch, and dinner restaurant for sweet guests and those Pinnacle members. Now, what's so awesome about having this is it's a la carte, it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, as I mentioned, but they have something for every member of the family. So I love staying in a suite here on board. Of course, the extra space is great, the concierge lounge, all of those amazing benefits. But I think this might be the most important benefit that you have here on board. It's a delicious meal. Once again, you decide what you want. They're gonna mix and match. They'll have some classics throughout your stay. And then of course, each and every day, they're gonna mix it up for you. They have a huge wine selection. You can see just behind here, they're gonna have tables for two, four. They've got booths in the back. They also have some beautiful seats along the windows as well. So you can kind of mix and match whether you wanna dine with just your family or if you wanna meet other people as well. But once again, this is an upgraded specialty restaurant, so it's gonna be higher quality than what you're gonna find in the main dining room and others. Now they have amazing food here on board, but this really takes it to the next level. Now a dining option unique to the Ovation of the Seas is fish and chips. It's set right on the pool deck, so you have those fantastic views out to the side. And just behind me, you can see the open kitchen concept. So what you're gonna have is a mix of complimentary options. You can get fish and chips, chicken fingers, fish sandwich, things like that, complimentary. But you also can go with some upgraded options like fried popcorn shrimp, halibut and chips, or my all time favorite, a deep fried candy bar. So here is the main part of the restaurant. Like I said, it does spill out onto the pool deck as well. You're gonna have uh, bench style seating. So you've got the booths here. You also have the high top pub tables, some low top tables as well. Or you can take it anywhere on the ship with you to take and enjoy. So now we're just inside the Challengers Arcade. Now this is for an extra fee. Right here is where you're gonna purchase the credits. Make sure you talk with the kiddos about that. And you can also set a budget. Now as we continue in, you've got a couple claw games over there. You've got that all-time arcade specialty, the ski ball. You're gonna have different kinds of options. Fruit Ninja over there. You've got a Mario Kart style game, Operation Ghost. And then as we continue on in, you're gonna have a few more back here. You're gonna have those riding games. And they also have the Jurassic Ride, which is a little bit more VR. Once again, this is that arcade option. It is an additional fee. So now we're getting ready to head into the Adventure Ocean Center. This is all about the kids, though I would argue it may be all about the parents too, because if the kids are having a great time, everyone in the family is going to enjoy it. They're gonna have activities throughout the day. They're gonna have drop-off service, so you can drop the kids off here. They're gonna have an amazing time while you do whatever you'd like to around the ship. And then of course, they also have late night babysitting. But let's head on inside and I'll show you what each of the spaces is all about. Now the first area I'd like to take you to is Royal Babies and Tots. So this is starting with the six month olds, going all the way up to the three year olds. They're gonna feed them, they'll change them. They're basically super nannies in here. Now this is an extra cost, keep that in mind. But once again, well worth it so that every member of the family can have a great time. Let me show you the space. So as soon as you walk in, you've got the restrooms here. I love that they're size appropriate for the kiddos. When my daughter was potty training, it was a really nice touch that they had those. Now just through here is the nursery. This is where they're gonna put the kiddos down for nap time. It's actually quite incredible watching them put down quite a few kids at the same time. You've got the cribs, you've got the strollers. You can use those, uh, that all-time parenting technique of rocking the stroller back and forth. They also have some cots as well. Now, as we head into the main space, they're gonna do all kinds of activities with them. You've got all the cabinets on the sides where they're gonna have the different arts and crafts and activities there. And then as we continue along over to the side, this is the play area. So they'll have lots of toys for them to play with. They've got different combinations, of course. You're gonna have a TV there for movie time. You've got the rockers over here. And then as you can see, you have more of the cabinets where they've got everything tucked away right now, but it's all perfectly age appropriate for the littlest cruisers. Now, as we head into Aquanauts, which is a space dedicated for the three to five-year-olds on board, I just wanted to point out what you need to do as soon as you board the ship. So you're definitely gonna wanna check your kids into the Adventure Ocean program. You'll head down here. They may have some other spots throughout the ship as well where you can register them. But the most important part of that is making sure you let them know who can pick the kiddos up. 
It's like on our last cruise, my mom and dad were on board. So we registered them and us. So maybe if we're in the middle of dinner or a show, they can come down and drop my daughter off or pick her up as well. Every single time you come down, you're gonna to need to present your, your CPAS card. They're gonna check it, make sure that you're authorized to drop off and pick up. This is where you'll do it. And then as soon as you're cleared to go, the kiddos will head right in here to a secure environment. Now I mentioned that this is three to five year olds. You can see they have the small furniture here all the way around. You're gonna have different arts and craft stations. They're gonna have programming through the, for them throughout the day. So they're gonna mix it up depending on what the kids enjoy doing. I know on the last cruise, my daughter loved doing the model magic, more of those arts and crafts type things. They're also gonna do games, active games, board games, different things like I mentioned throughout the day. And if you want them to stay a little bit later on, after 10 o'clock, they do have late night babysitting for a small nominal fee. My daughter was begging to stay every single time. So more cabinets over there. You've got the TV set up for movie time. You see the small tables right here. On the other side, you've got a slide, little play area where they can hang out and hide over in the corner. And then like they have with all the spaces, they have the restroom inside the space itself for the kiddos. Now this beautiful space is the living room. It's dedicated to the 12 to the 17 year olds here on board. So it's a really large space. You're gonna have foosball over there. They're gonna have all kinds of games and activities that they'll have throughout the day, just like they do in the rest of the Adventure Ocean program. Now over here, they have these really cool nooks where it's kind of loungers and you've got a TV tucked up in the corner there. Over on the other side, you're gonna find video game stations. They have quite a few different options. And I love that the furniture is really mix and match. They've got bean bags all around. You also have these chairs that they can reconfigure, hang out and lounge. As a middle school teacher for 10 years, I watched middle schoolers do quite a bit of lounging around. So in here, you'll see you have another large flat panel TV. There's one on the other side that they use as a movie theater. There's some tiered seating up behind as well. You have another one of those nooks with TVs there and then really fantastic ocean views. In fact, they give a ton of real estate and some prime real estate to the teenagers. Now keep in mind this space and the teen disco both combined for that 12 to 17 year old experience. Now on the Ovation of the Seas, Adventure Ocean is two stories. So down here on deck 11, we already went to the Royal Babies and Tots and the Aquanauts area. And we're also gonna have a large free play area. I'll take you in there in just a second. But I wanted to point out that they have an internal staircase. So if you have kiddos that are in two different age groups, you can head right on up to drop off the others. We'll head up there in just a second, but let me take you into the free play area. So this is that area where you can come in with adult supervision, the kids can play and have a good time. Now they do use it for the different programs here or they'll have open play in here. So you see you've got this slide, a little fort area. There's more tucked underneath with quite a few different toy options. You do have the cubbies as you go in where the kiddos can put their shoes. And then as we head further into the space, this is gonna be a multi-function space. So they can do games in here, they can do free time, but really it's just an area to play. Next up, you'll find Explorers. So this area is dedicated to the six to eight year olds. Once again, they will have their own staff throughout the time here on board, get to meet new kids, have a great time together. And they're gonna do activities that go across the spectrum. So you're gonna have the left brain and the right brain. You'll have all kinds of different art activities in here. They can head out and utilize the science lab. We'll take you there in just a minute. You can see they've got the tables all along the wall there, mainly for arts and crafts. You've got the video game stations over here tucked away. And then you're also gonna have a large sports area. So you see you've got the soccer nets set up right now. They'll do bowling, they'll do all kinds of fun games. So whether your kiddo is one who is very active or likes to sit and chill, color like my daughter does, or play a video game, they got them covered in here. So you've got the sink there, you can see all the different art and craft supplies there. I did wanna point out that they have the muster stations up on the top as well. That's something important to note that the kiddos will go with the Adventure Ocean staff to their muster station, just in case of an emergency. It's always an important thing to note. But once again, you can see there's quite a bit of space dedicated to this age group. They're sure to have a great time. Next up is the Voyagers program. This is for the kiddos that are nine to 11 years old. Space similar to the others that you've seen. You've got the bench seating areas around the side there. You've got those arts and crafts that are all tucked away. Once again, they're gonna do constant programming that's age appropriate throughout the day, every single day. You've got the art storage over here. You've got some TVs where they'll set up Xbox Connect. You also have more video game stations that are wrapped all the way around here. Now keep in mind, these spaces are dedicated specifically to the age groups, but there's so much more on board for the kids to explore and enjoy from the top deck 
that and do a little skydiving, flow rider. So this is that place where you have the drop off service where the kids can come, interact and have a great time with other kids, but you know, family friendly throughout the entire ship. So the space that's shared between all the Adventure Ocean programs is the science lab. It's really a science and art lab in here. They're gonna do experiments. You can see they have the microscopes over there. You've got the volcanoes where you can learn how a volcano erupts. They're also gonna dig for fossils, have all kinds of different educational and active activities that go together to, in my mind, creates the perfect experience on a vacation. As a middle school teacher for 10 years, I really value how much they put in from the educational standpoint. They also tie in the areas that you're visiting. So we're visiting Alaska right now. They're gonna talk a lot about the ecosystems in Alaska and dig a little bit deeper into the wildlife. So you can see all the art supplies are here. You've got the big paper there. Over on the far side, you've got the butcher paper as well where they can make big posters. And then as you continue in, it looks exactly like a science lab at school. So you've got the stools here and then the high top tables where they can do the experiments. You can see they have the different shape cutters over there as well. They have a ton of different options in here. Once again, age appropriate depending on which age group they are. And it just offers more choices for more fun. I don't know what it is, Taylor, but there's something that's really bugging me. Nah, just kidding. Being a little bit humorous, that's all. Well, just kidding. This is the Fuel Disco, but it's not just any disco. This is the Teen Disco. So it's a space dedicated to the 12 to 17 year olds. This complements the living room and all of that space that they have there. So here, it's really meant to be like a disco. That said, they do quite a few different activities in here. You've got all the lights on the side, the DJ booth, you've got these pub style tables against the wall. You've got some booths over here. Then there's also a couple TVs where they can do interactive games. Now, as we continue along the way, you have another part of that right here. You're gonna see that you have a few more tables. You've got some more TVs in here as well, but really it's meant to be a lounge style area where the kiddos can basically have the same kind of young adult fun as the grownups are having out there. Once again, trying to take care of every single member of the family. So now we're headed into the Vitality Spa and Salon. This spa and salon rivals the best on the land. So you can come here. There's a barber shop actually tucked just behind. We'll head into the salon in just a minute. This is the reception area. So you can come here on boarding day. I highly recommend that you do. You can do a complimentary tour of the spa, learn about all the different treatment options that they have here on board. Now keep in mind, in addition to the spa treatments and salon, they also have a full Medi spa as well. Now let's head into the space. So now we're just inside the salon. You see you've got the manicure stations right here on my right. And then directly across, you're gonna have the first of the hair stations. So they have a partnership with Kerastis in Paris. You can have all of those different hair treatments, coloring, all basically if you wanna get ready to go out in the evening or you wanna have a revolutionary new haircut, you can do that here on board. So once again, you've got two stations right here. And then as we head around the corner, there's gonna be two more stations for hair as well. Right in here is where they're gonna dig in deep, go over all the different options for you. They also have a wide array of retail. The big advantage of purchasing on board is that it is duty free. So if you'd like to take advantage of that, you definitely can. They have capitalist treatments. They also have teeth whitening to go along with the rest. Now tucked just around the corner here, you're gonna have the pedicure station. So you can see here, you've got the two chairs. You can sit, put your feet in and soak and take advantage of those beautiful ocean views. Now, as you're preparing for your treatment, you're gonna head in here first to the relaxation room. So they're gonna give you a little bit of paperwork so they get to know you, any special treatment options that they need to provide or be aware of. But you come in here, you can have a nice juice or tea. They usually have those set up here. They will in just a few minutes. But really the idea is to get into the Zen mindset, to get totally relaxed so that you can get the perfect treatment for you. Now we're headed into the thermal suite. So this is a great complement to a spa treatment. You can get a pass either for the day or for the week. So you've got a dry heat chamber over on the corner that's really a sauna. You're gonna have your steam room right here, the caladarium chamber. And then all along the back side here, you're gonna have the stone loungers. Now personally, I love the stone loungers. I'll come down here, read a book and chill. They're nice and ergonomic. They also are heated. So. For my bad back, it's that perfect place to sit back and relax. You're also gonna have a tropical rainforest shower right here in the corner, so you can shower off. Also, you can get those different kinds of Swiss shower experiences. 
Now we're inside one of the solo treatment rooms. They also have couples rooms as well. So right here you can get a massage. My all time favorite would be the hot stone massage. Those really rock, if you know what I mean. You also can get a bamboo massage, Swedish massage, deep tissue. Really it's customized based on your desires. Now in addition to that, you also are gonna be able to get facials, thermage, you've got the seaweed wraps. There's a wide variety of different treatments that you can get here on board the Ovation. Now this is one of the couple's massage treatment rooms. So you can see you've got the two beds set up here. You can get most of the treatments. You also can mix and match if one person wants one, the other wants another. But it's such a great way to relax together. My wife and I have a small child and so when she's down having a great time at the Adventure Ocean Center, we love to come up here and get a couple's treatment. So you can see they've got once again, the two tables right here, they've got the two chairs, changing area, and then tucked just over the corner here, they're also going to have a shower. You've got a nice bench seat tucked in the corner. So now we're headed into the Vitality at Sea Fitness Center. I always manage to walk by this place at least once or twice on the cruise. Now, just kidding, if you wanna have a great aerobic exercise, they have all along the wall a ton of treadmills. You're also gonna have the elliptical machines over here. Tucked on the far side, you're gonna find the free weights. So you've got the dumbbells. Go all the way up to some really high weights. I know some people can lift them. I certainly can't. You also are gonna find more treadmills wrapped around the side of the ship. I love the idea of looking out at the incredible ocean views while you exercise. Now, as we continue on through the space, they're gonna have a rowing machine tucked in the corner, and then you're gonna find all of your different circuit machines. So if you wanna work legs one day, arms the other. I tried to do quite a few of those 12 ounce curls at the bar, but I guess you could do curls in here as well. Now set just down a little bit. You're gonna have stair stepper machines, more ellipticals, you've got bikes. You're also going to have the first of the fitness studios. So you can see you've got the straps in the front there for TRX. So they use that space is set just down below the, the gym for a couple different things. So they'll do classes in here where they'll talk about body composition, nutrition, all kinds of different things that are related to the spa and fitness. And then you're also gonna use it for classes. You've got the exercise balls and the balance balls on the side. And then on the far side as well, you're gonna have more of that cardio equipment where you can look out at the incredible ocean views. So you've got a few more of the circuit machines over here and then tucked over in the corner as well. Now on the starboard side of the fitness center, you're gonna find the studio. This is where they're gonna do spin classes. So it's set up like a spin instruction class at home. You've got a stage in the front where the instructor will sit. You see it's wrapped all the way around here. They've got beautiful brand new equipment. You're also gonna have a large screen TV so you can have a bit of competition. They've got the huge speakers as well. So if you love that aerobic exercise, spinning is one of the best ways to do it. And you could do it here with the most incredible views on the planet. At the back of deck 12, you'll find the concierge club. This particular space is dedicated to suite guests. So if you're in a grand suite or higher, you can use this throughout your entire cruise. Or if you're a Pinnacle member, that's Royal's top tier of their uh, loyalty club, you can also utilize this space. Now right here to my left, you'll find the concierge desk. They're gonna take care of everything that you need here on board, dining reservations, they can answer questions about shore excursions. They can pretty much take care of any of your needs that have to do with your room or suite and special occasions as well. They're gonna have the different dining menus so they can tell you what's going on throughout the ship. Now what's so unique about this particular space is it takes up the entire back of the ship. That's usually a space dedicated to some of the biggest suites. So I love that Royal Caribbean uses that real estate for this. So you can sit up here any time of the day. My wife likes to come up during the middle of the day. It's a great place to sew because she's got fantastic light. You can also read a book, tuck away as you'd like. They also have a large screen TV tucked away. In fact, I remember watching some of my favorite sporting events in there. And once again, being a social experience, it's that much more fun. Fun. So you have a ton of different seating options. You're gonna have booth seats and chairs that are looking out the back and taking advantage of those incredible views. You're also gonna have these tables because they're all, they have a dining area in here. So you're gonna have food set up throughout the day. They have a nice continental breakfast each and every single morning for you. And in the evening when they do the complimentary cocktail hour, you're also gonna have appetizers. In fact, I think I've eaten my weight in uh, chicken wings over the years. You also have an espresso maker right here. Taylor absolutely loves that because you can come up and take advantage of that any time of the day. They also have some different drink options, tea and hot chocolate. But what this space is all about is having that unique dedicated space if you've chosen to upgrade. So you can take advantage of the concierge, you can come up here anytime that you'd like and tuck away into a nice quiet space. 
So now we're inside the beautiful and massive Royal Theatre here on board. It's where they do the main production shows. It's Broadway style, so you can see the massive curtain in the distance there. They have a huge stage as well. And there's actually quite a complex back of stage experience there. So you're gonna see full hour long or so Broadway style shows. In addition to that, they'll have comedians, they'll have lecturers, they'll have specialty acts that come on as well. Now, Nick Weir, who's in charge of Royal Caribbean's entertainment, has done an incredible job and really set Royal apart from the entire industry. I think they have the absolute best shows, most interactive, amazing music that you know and love, but it's really about the people, the quality of actors and actresses, singers and dancers that they have on board here is really quite stunning. Now the space itself is two levels. So we're up here on deck five. Deck four is just down below. It has stadium style seating. So it slowly goes up there and then you can see it goes up quite a bit just behind underneath the overhang. And then up here on the balcony, you have some phenomenal views as well looking down. They've got two huge screens on the side there. And once again, you're gonna be blown away by the diverse options of entertainment that they have here on board. But this is the main entertainment spot here. Make sure that you stop by and check it out on your cruise. Just behind me, you'll find the Focus Photo Gallery. So one of the things that you often have on a cruise ship is there's plenty of opportunities for your picture to be taken, if that's something you're interested in. When you board, when you disembark the ship, maybe at meals, or you can come and have a special sitting just with the family. You can find that perfect Christmas card photo or that memory that lasts a lifetime. Now, instead of the old school way where they would print every single photo, it's all digital now. So what you do is you take your CPAS card, you just swipe it right below those kiosks it's going to pop up all the different experiences that you've had here on board where they've taken photos. You can choose to purchase one of them, all of them with a package. You can get them printed as well. It's really up to you. Ahoy, land ahead. Well, actually, there's drinks ahead just behind me. This is the schooner bar, in my mind, the most classic of all the Royal Caribbean venues. It's a nautical themed bar that they have on board every single one of their ships. When you come in, you can see that you have the piano. So that's the heart and soul. They're gonna have a pianist here every single evening. In fact, when we were on the Anthem of the Seas, we loved cruising with Matt Yee, the one and only who does the most incredible show. But whichever ship you're sailing on, you definitely want to head to the schooner bar in the evening for those classic sing-alongs. But it's also utilized throughout the day as well. So you can see the piano bar here. You've got these game tables here, so you can sit down, play cards as well. And then all along, you're gonna have couches on the far side. You've got tables for two, four. You've got the high top pub tables as well. Well, and then right in the back, you're gonna have the full bar. So they'll have full bar service here. They'll do trivia in here, different kinds of lectures, sing-alongs, as I mentioned, or a different kind of a party. So this is a place that you definitely wanna check out when you're here on board the Ovation. Tucked just behind the schooner bar, you're gonna find Chops Grill. This is another classic Royal offering. In fact, it's the original specialty restaurant on board Royal Caribbean. It is a classic steakhouse experience. So you'll start off with the shrimp cocktail, crab cake, pork belly is absolutely delicious as well. You have a wide variety of soups and salads, and then you're gonna move on to the mains. You can have some delicious prime cuts. My favorite is the bone-in ribeye. You also have Branzino, some different seafood options as well. A wide variety of sides. You definitely wanna check out those Gruyere tater tots, cream spinach, those kind of steakhouse fares. In addition to that, you're also gonna have some of the best desserts on the entire ship. Now this is an upgraded experience, so you can purchase a package where you get multiple specialty dinings, or you can do it on its own, and once again, make, take advantage of that upgrade. Now another phenomenal experience, it's tucked at the very back of Chops, is the chef's table. So this is where you can have a wine paired meal. It's gonna be multiple course, you're gonna have the chef come out of the kitchen every single course, explain what they're presenting to you. It's absolutely delicious, and it's also a fantastic social experience as well. Once again, it is an upgrade. Just behind me, you'll find Izumi Japanese Cuisine. This is my happy place. It's where I go for my pre-meals, sometimes my post-meals. It is a sushi bar. So they have a variety of options here at Izumi. As we head into the space, you've got these tables that overlook the esplanade just in the distance. So you can ask for those if you'd like. You also have tables all the way around, but right in the middle, you're gonna find the sushi bar. So they have all kinds of different rolls, sashimi, all of your favorite sushi options that you can have. It is an additional cost. You can take advantage of one of those packages, as I've mentioned, or you can order a la carte. 
Now, if you'd like to see some of the food options that they have here, you can check out our Danny Dines episode where I ordered most of the items that they have here and it was absolutely delicious. So you can join me as I sample the fare. One uniquely Royal Caribbean experience is Wonderland Imaginative Cuisine. This is a specialty dining restaurant here on board. It's a concept unlike anything else in the cruise industry. It's meant to be very whimsical, inside out, upside down. It's an homage to going down the rabbit hole in Alice and Wonderland. So you'll see the beautiful decor all the way around. They've got those high back chairs over there. You've got some funky different furniture options. You've got all of the beautiful uh, keys up here on the top, kind of the key to Wonderland there. But what I love about this is the unique experience starts as soon as you arrive. You're gonna be handed a paintbrush and a blank menu. And what you do is you actually dip it in water, you're gonna paint the menu, and as you do, it's going to reveal itself. So they have quite a few different options. If you wanna see the different food options that they have here in the restaurant, you can check out our Danny Dines episode where I order every single thing on the menu and give it a try. But what I love about this is it really challenges your senses. So you might have something that looks like something and has a little bit of a different texture. Now the tastes are all phenomenal. Once again, specialty restaurant, it's an upgrade option option, or you can use one of the packages, but you definitely don't want to miss out on Wonderland. Now, the Ovation is a smart ship. It's one of the most technologically advanced cruise ships ever built. In fact, it's so high tech, they even have robot bartenders. So I definitely recommend that you spend a little bit of time here at the Bionic Bar. You can see you have all of the different alcohol options up top. Back there, they're gonna have all of the different mixers and it's not running quite yet right now. But what it does is you take the iPad over there, you order exactly the drink that you want. They're gonna have a queue up here telling you when your drink's gonna be ready. And the robot bartender actually makes it for you. So it's a fun social experience. You're sitting right above the Esplanade. So this is a large bar area, just no human bartenders. If you want to, you can grab a seat right over there and check out the Esplanade below. Another high tech option is the Shore Excursions Desk. You see they have all of these iPad here. All you have to do is swipe your CPASS card. You can check on your Shore Excursions. You can also purchase one. You're also gonna have the Shore Excursions staff in here. Now they go on the excursions. They work with guests every single week. They have most of the answers that you're looking for. They can make recommendations and they can assist you as you go. Though I do highly recommend that you book your excursions before you head here on board. Some of the most popular will sell out. Now, personally, I've always felt that the Quantum class ships are the most beautiful in the fleet. There's a ton of high design. You see the beautiful artwork all behind me. And then as we head through this space, it opens up into a bit of an Italian piazza. So you've got Jamie's Italian restaurant just behind. I'll take you in there in just a moment. You have this beautiful sculpture here in the middle, and then you're gonna have Vintage's wine bar over on the side. You also have quite a bit of high-end retail. So on the far side here, you've got an Omega shop. You've got different kinds of watches, jewelry, once again, to take advantage of the duty-free prices. So let me take you into what is my personal favorite restaurant here on board, and that's Jamie's Italian. So it's all about creative, fresh Italian cuisine. The menu has been curated by Jamie Oliver himself. Let me take you into the space. So as we head inside, you can see the beautiful modern decor. So you've got that color palette, the light blues and greens. You've got the Italian kitchen motif just behind. You're also gonna find a handmade pasta maker. What it's all about is the finest, freshest ingredients and really creating some incredible Italian fare. Now, if you wanna check out the menu here and everything that they have here on board, you, do, you can check out our Danny Dines where I have every single item on the menu. But what I love about this is they have quite a few different family style options where you can really share. The charcuterie board is out of this world. That freshly prepared pasta as well. Taylor loves the lasagna. And then a wide variety of delicious desserts. So you can see as we continue through the space, you've got booths all along the side there. You've got tables for two, four, six, eight. They can even put a big one together for a larger group as well. But this is about fresh, delicious Italian food. Now nothing pairs better with a delicious Italian meal than wine. And right here they have Vintage's Wine Bar. So you can come here maybe for a pre-dinner glass of wine or post-dinner or just about any time that you'd like. So you can see it's a very homey style feel in here. It feels just like your living room. You've got these beautiful plush couches, chairs here. You've got love seats over there. And some of them do open up to where the far part of the Esplanade is. 
Just behind me is the full service bar. They also have a coffee machine in here. They have a wide variety of wines. Now they've always partnered with the Robert Mondavi family. So you can find a lot of that here, but it's a really expansive menu. Now, in addition to the bar and the wine stewards here, you also have a ton of self-serve options. So you can utilize this with your beverage package if you'd like. But you can see they're all the way along the wall here where you head on up, you tap the card and you pick exactly the one you're looking for. For many years, Royal Caribbean's had a partnership with Park West Art Galleries. This is essentially an art auctioning company where you can come on board, you can participate in an art auction, you can purchase art as well. But what I love is even if you're not quite ready for that, they have a beautiful collection. So as we head back to 270, you can see all the different types of art to choose from. But even if you're not necessarily ready to purchase, I do recommend checking out one of the art auctions. Usually there's complimentary champagne, but you're gonna learn a ton. Now also as we're heading back to 270, I wanted to point out the next cruise area. We know that you're gonna be having an incredible time here on board, and what better place to book your next cruise than here? In fact, you're gonna find the best rates that you possibly can get. There's an additional bonus discount that combines with any of the promotions that are going on. And as your travel advisor, because you booked with us already, it's gonna go right back to us so that we can provide service throughout. Make sure that you do reach out when you get back from your cruise and let us know, just so we can make sure that every bit of your cruise experience is perfect. So there's quite a few different stations here where you can have cruise next. I do recommend doing it throughout the cruise. Usually the last day it does get pretty darn busy. Now let's head into Cafe 270. Now Cafe 270 is a fast casual option. It's also a complimentary option here on board. What I love so much about it is you can come down here, get a panini. So they have hot paninis that are, that are made to order right there. You've got a fruit station over on the far side. You can see the different sandwiches and wraps that you have to choose from. In addition to some of those pita pockets, they always have a great dessert menu as well. Now, continuing along with the sandwiches over here, you're gonna have soups and salads. So right here, they can make a salad to order. They also have some pre-prepared salads if you wanna grab and go. And then you've got the panini toaster just behind. Now tucked in the corner, you're gonna find Taylor's favorite place. It's another coffee shop. So here you can take advantage of their partnership with Lavazza Coffee, a fantastic Italian coffee option. This will be loaded with pastries here in the morning and throughout the day. And then you can have your favorite espresso, cappuccino, latte, macchiato, and take it right on out into 270 to enjoy. Now I wanted to point out another one of those beverage stations right here. So you've got the Nestle Vitality water. You can have the fruit infused waters there. They've got water, iced tea. You also have coffee, teas, and my daughter's favorite, a little bit of hot chocolate. Now this incredible space is 270. The name comes from the amazing view. So you have floor to ceiling windows that are actually two stories high that wrap completely around in a horseshoe. So when you're cruising throughout the day, you can take advantage of the most incredible views of the ocean. Today, we're here in the port of Seattle. So you've got the phenomenal Seattle skyline views in the distance. Now, what I love about this space, it is the ultimate multi-use space. So in the evening, this turns into a dynamic entertainment venue. In fact, I'm standing here on one of the stages. There's another stage over to the side. And then the whole area down here below, in addition to being a dance floor, it's also a stage as well. Now it's completely interactive. You're gonna find that they're gonna come down from the ceiling. Up on the ceiling there, there's actually three areas where the acrobats can come down from the roof. You also can pop up from the side. There's some other areas over there as well. So it's really unique and interesting show. And I definitely recommend that you check it out. But it's way more than that. As I mentioned, during the day, it's a great place to get away. My light wife loves to come in here and sew because you have that amazing light coming in from the massive windows. They also have the interactive robot TV screens. So there's gonna be six of them just above. They're tucked up on the ceiling right now, but they use those for different functions as well. During the shows, it's a dynamic show experience. So they move around on giant robot arms. They also put it down together for a large screen so that you can watch first run movies in here as well. They're gonna do trivias, they're gonna do events. They'll also do hosted events like Crown and Anchor events in here as well. Now you can see it's stadium style seating all the way around. It covers two decks. So you've got seating down here. You've got the tables and chairs just over to the side. There's seating on the side that look out as well. And then you're gonna have a large bar over there in the corner. So they'll provide service throughout the shows and throughout the day as well. 
So you have stairs that head up to the next level on either side. On the far side, you're gonna find the sound booth up there and tucked just behind is the library. I love that they still have a traditional library here on board. And on the other side, you're gonna find the workshop. They're gonna do different events in there like trivias. They can do arts and crafts. You can also reserve the room for a meeting if you'd like. But what I love about this space is they've taken advantage of the location. Here on the aft of the ship, incredible two-story floor-to-ceiling windows to take advantage of those amazing views. And it's used from early in the morning until late in the evening. Now we're just inside the beautiful Diamond Lounge. This is a space dedicated to those cruisers who are diamond level or higher in Royal Caribbean's Crown and Anchor Loyalty Program. Royal offers some of the best benefits in the entire business, hands down, and this is one of those. So in this space, you can have a complimentary happy hour every single evening, and then tucked right over here, you're gonna find the concierge desk. So this is where you can come. They can assist you with dining reservations, shore excursions, answering general questions. Basically, they're your personal concierge to take care of what you need. Here's Usha. She does an unbelievable job here on board to take care of all the Diamond members. So a couple other things that you use this space for, they've got food set up throughout the day and you have an espresso maker where you can come down, make a coffee, a cappuccino, latte, whatever you want at no additional cost. They're gonna have a continental breakfast in the morning. And then later in the evening during happy hour, they'll have different appetizers. Now this is the main part of the space. I just wanted to point out for point of reference, the doors open up into the music hall. So sometimes I'll actually open that up and put a second bar over there for a little bit of overflow, depending on how many diamond members are on board a cruise. So you've got couches along the windows here. You've got single and double seats here. You've got more over there. So it's set up perfectly. If you want to come have a cocktail by yourself with your spouse, or you want to meet new people, this is a perfect spot for that. The music hall has been a huge hit for Royal Caribbean since it was introduced on the Quantum of the Seas. It's a dynamic two-story entertainment venue. We're down here on the main floor right now. In fact, here I'm on the massive dance floor. Now the heart and soul of this venue is the stage and the dance floor. They're gonna do tribute rock shows, all kinds of different music, different themes. Maybe they'll do a 70s party in here. And they also do the silent disco. In fact, there's nothing more entertaining for me anyways to see a bunch of people rocking out to absolute silence. Well, they hear it in their own earphones. So you should try that out when you're here on board. So as you can see, it's a large space. You've got seating all the way around on both sides. You're gonna have tables for two, four. You also have chairs set around the dance floor. You're gonna have your full service bar. Now there's two bars, one down here on the main level and one up on the top level. We'll take you there in just a second. And you have a little more seating on the other side. For point of reference, that door opens up and takes you right into the casino. And then you have this spiral staircase here that'll take you right up to the second floor of the music hall. Now on the top of the music hall, you're gonna find a social area. So you've got the Diamond Club just behind me for point of reference. You've got these pool tables. Let's see if I've got anything going today. All right, ah, solids. That's a solid shot if I do say so myself. All right, so along the wall, you're gonna have high top pub tables. You also have lower chairs and tables here. You've got them that sit over looking down on the, the main dance floor below. You got more over here, another pool table. They also have TVs as well so that they can project what's happening down on the stage. Now I mentioned down below that there is a bar up here as well. So you're gonna have the main bar down below and a full bar up here as well. So you can enjoy the entire experience without heading down. You can enjoy the entertainment, the venue, the music up here. Now you have one more pool table over and then as it wraps around, you're gonna find that you have more seating. You have more seating even over there by the sound booth that looks down on the main stage. And that's where you're gonna head out directly to the Royal Esplanade. So that's how it's all connected together here. One side, you're gonna have the Diamond Club. The other side, you're gonna have the exit to the Esplanade. So now we're right in the middle of the Royal Esplanade. This is the central gathering place, the city street, if you will, here on board the beautiful Ovation of the Seas. You're gonna have retail all down the middle. They'll do different pop-up retail shops throughout your cruise. But now let's explore every single space here. So the first one is Boleros. Now Boleros is on all of the Royal Caribbean ships. It is a Latin themed nightclub, bar, lounge combo experience. So as soon as you come in here, you get that total lounge feel. You've got all kinds of different seating. You've got high tops in the back. 
You've got your large bar here right to my left. That of course is gonna provide bar service each and every day and into the evening. Or if they have other events in here as well, maybe a trivia, maybe a lecture, or maybe one of those arts and crafts experience. So you've got booth seating along the wall, but this is what it's all about here in Boleros. You've got the live band each and every night. You've got the large dance floor. You know if you're gonna have that Latin theme music, you're gonna have some salsa, flamenco, a ton of fun with a lot of energy. I love coming to this particular bar, like I said, throughout the day. It's a nice quiet place, usually in the morning and midday where you can read a book and tuck away. But the energy amps up and picks up throughout the day and into the evening. So once again here, you've got the full bar, some of the best bartenders in the entire industry. They're sure to keep those drinks coming, keep a smile on your face, and also to keep you laughing. So it's a large space. You've got more seating tucked in the corner. You've got booths over there. And then you also have couches and chairs looking out at the beautiful ocean views. So as we continue along the Esplanade, next up is Port Merchants. This is where they're gonna have a wide variety of alcohol and tobacco. Once again, at those duty-free prices, you can get a pretty good discount compared to what you get at land. Now, just keep in mind that these are going to be delivered to you on the last day. The alcohol is not necessarily meant for consumption here on board. It's really meant to take home. They're also gonna have some different snack options as well for you to choose from. Now on the far side, you're gonna find Kate Spade, New York and Michael Kors. So you've got some high-end retail there. If you wanna get a new bag or one of the different accoutrements that they have in there, of course, you can take advantage of that. Maybe you do great in the casino and you wanna buy your loved one a nice gift. You could definitely get that here on board. Next up directly across, you're gonna find the main coffee shop here on board, La Patisserie. So it's more than just a coffee shop. You're gonna, of course, have the fantastic Lavazza coffee options in there. You can have your favorite macchiato, latte, espresso, Americano. They also have a wide variety of teas. Now keep in mind, those are an additional cost. They also have some unbelievable, delicious, over-the-top, sweet options for you. They have some macaroons that you can take advantage of. They also have these fantastic little cakes, eclairs, and bites. But this is the main coffee shop here on board. So if you start your day at a Starbucks or something like that at home, you're gonna be really happy here. In fact, with the Lavazza coffee, you may be even happier. Next up is a complimentary food option. You're gonna have Cafe Promenade. So in here, you've got several drink stations. You've got your coffees and teas, hot water. On the other side, you're also gonna have lemonade and iced tea. But what this space is about, it's about those fantastic grab and go options. So right now you've got a couple different sandwiches and wraps that you can choose from. You've got complimentary desserts and fruits. So once again, this is a complimentary grab and go dining venue. It's also where you're gonna find the all-time cruise favorite, the cookies. I'll be back for you guys in just a few minutes. Don't you worry about that. Now, as we continue on through, we're gonna head into Sorrento's Pizzeria. This is another complimentary option here on board. It's open late into the evening. In fact, I've had most of my pizza on board Royal Caribbean over the years later in the evening. So they're gonna have a coffee shop tucked over there in the corner where they can do different espressos for you. You're gonna have a wide variety of complimentary antipasta options. And then they're gonna have fresh pizzas baked throughout the day. And as I mentioned, late into the evening. So they've got a couple uh, pizza ovens tucked just around, around there by the corner. Along the wall, you're gonna have seating that looks out at the beautiful ocean views. You've got some booth seats. You also have these tables for two and four. And then you can see just behind me here, it's where it opens right up to the Esplanade. Now at the heart and soul of every British and Irish town, you're gonna find a pub. Same thing here on board the Ovation. So you have the Amber and Oak Pub. That's exactly what it is. So you can see you've got the dining tables here. What I love about this is they do have some fantastic food options here. Now they are an additional cost, so if you wanna take advantage of that, you can. Of course, you can head next door, get complimentary pizza and sandwiches. But if you want a little bit of an upgraded pub experience, you can check those out. Now, another thing that this particular venue is well known for is it's a live music venue. So every single evening, you're gonna have a musician. Usually it's a guitar player here. They'll sing your favorite songs. You can sing along and also provide entertainment. Now, being a pub, the heart of it is, of course, the bar. So you've got a huge bar right here. You see you've got the taps over there, full service bar as you would expect. You've got more high tops wrapped all the way around, more booth seating tucked in the corner. So the entire idea of the Esplanade is kind of that friendly family city block. And of course, what better place to have there than a fantastic pub. 
Now, continuing along the Esplanade, you're gonna have quite a bit more retail. So Regalia is where you can get some really high-end jewelry, watches, different options along those lines. They also have an extension of the pub. So as we continue along, you've got more seating for the Oak and Amber pub. You actually have another entrance with a couple TVs over here to the pub as well. Next up is the Sarosky Crystal Shop. So they have a wide variety, once again, duty free. Then you're gonna have Bling, where you're gonna find more different jewelry options as well. Now, as we continue along, you've got a little bit more retail here. So you've got prints and green. So you've got all kinds of different t-shirts and sunglasses, different Royal Caribbean wear, in addition to, uh, of course, the name brands that you can choose from. And then finally, as we head all the way down to the far side, you're gonna get to the Royal Caribbean logo shop. So all along there, once again, it's all retail. We're up here in Seattle right now for an Alaska cruise. So you're gonna have different kinds of Alaska specific clothing items, but you also have the large variety of the Invicta watches, Ann Klein, Belova, Citizen. In fact, I might find Taylor in there a little bit later. Now, finally, we're gonna head over to the corner here to Sundials. It's tucked just behind there. Once again, a last retail shop. This is the main logo wear retail shop. And then right around the corner, you're also gonna have different kinds of perfumes and cosmetics. And really the reason why they have so much retail and so many people enjoy it is that duty-free option because so much of what we purchase is the duty or tax associated with it. Man, I love when they know I'm coming on board and make a chair big enough for me. It's good to be the king. Also on the Royal Esplanade, you'll find guest services and the loyalty desk. So this is where you're gonna take care of everything that has to do with money or the customer experience. So keep in mind the very first day, the very last day, it often gets a bit busier here as people are trying to sort out bills and things along those lines. So I always recommend that you try to do all your business during the middle part of your cruise. But you've got a queue right here where you can head over and take advantage of the guest services areas. They also have iPads that they'll come around with and a lot of times they can solve any of those issues right there. And then tucked just in the corner, you're gonna find the loyalty ambassador. So if you have any questions about the Crown and Anchor program, your status, benefits, things along those lines, they're happy to take care of you right there. Now, dining has always been a major part of the Royal Caribbean cruise experience. And here on board, instead of one large main dining room, they actually have four separate dining rooms. So right now, I'm in the American Icon Grill. Silk is just across the way. Now, these two restaurants are the My Time Dining restaurants, meaning you can dine anytime from early in the evening until later in the evening. All you have to do is show up, and they're gonna get you your table. Now, what I love about this is there's so many options to choose from. You're gonna have the classics every single day on the menu if you want a steak or chicken or salmon or things along those lines. They've got a lot of sides as well, but you can also branch out. One of the things I love about cruising is that you can try new things, and this is something you may not do at home. You may not order it off a menu where you have to pay for every single item, but when it's included, you can try new things and you're gonna find all kinds that you love. Now it's all about the service. You're gonna have fantastic main dining service here in the restaurants. They'll have an assistant waiter and a waiter. You'll get to know them. They're gonna take care of all your needs from start to finish. This is open breakfast and lunch some days and dinner every single day. So now we're inside the massive Casino Royale. If you love to do a little bit of gambling while on vacation, you're gonna love this particular space. Now I wanted to point out that this stairway does go up to deck floor to the Royal Esplanade. So right here, we're in the middle of quite a few of the different machines. So you've got machines all around the entire casino, wrapped around here. And then as we head into the main part of the area, you're gonna find more of the machines and of course the tables. You've got the full bar tucked over there in the corner. They'll provide bar service throughout your time here. You can also belly up to the bar and have a really fantastic experience. Now right here, you're gonna have roulette tables. You've got Texas Hold'em, you also have blackjack, three card poker, ultimate hold'em, and then a wide variety of blackjack options. Now on the far side, you're also gonna have craps. Now, as we continue on throughout the space, I just wanted to point out that if you continue all the way along there, you'll exit right by the bottom level of the music hall, and you head right on out to deck three towards the theater. Now, once again, if you enjoy gambling on your trip, this is that perfect place for you to stop by, have a little fun, and meet some new friends. 
You have two more dining options down here on deck three. You're gonna have Chic and you're gonna have the Grand. Now these are the traditional dining restaurants. This is where you'll go, have the same exact waiter, same dining time every single day. Now, personally, I love that concept. You really get to know the people at your table. You get to know your waiter. And more importantly, the waiter gets to know my drink order. But they're both beautiful restaurants. They're gonna have the exact same menu. It's really just about a design differentiation. Thank you so much for joining us today and for taking your time to explore the beautiful ovation of the seas. This incredible ship has something for everyone when it comes to food, entertainment, and everything in between. You're sure to be blown away. Now, when you're ready to book your next cruise with Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, or Silver Sea, make sure you do it right on hardtravel.com. You can take advantage of those interactive deck plans, pick the exact perfect room or suite for you, your friends, family, or group. You're gonna get the hard travel signature service, and we know that we can craft your vacation of a lifetime at an incredible value. Now I'm heading into my home away from home, some sushi. Wait, I have reservations at six and nine? Eh, why not? Let's do it.